long enough. They have been under such a great strain trying to complete tasks and assignment. And they have been strained, come on somebody, and going through seasons of burnout trying to find the next locale. But God began to say to me that tonight he's transitioning the people into a finished place. Which means that wherever you get ready to go right now is going to be the finished place that God has ordained. You better tell your neighbor your waiting and your struggle has not been in vain. It's not been in vain. Come on, you better look at somebody next to you. You better shake yourself. And you better wake yourself and tell them it has not been in vain. It has been ordained of God. All of the negative, all of the crazy, all of the impossibilities. Oh, come on, somebody. All of the struggle. Tell you that it has all been on schedule. Come on, somebody shall on schedule. On schedule. Uh, you know, let, let me give you scripture since you're looking at me like I'm talking Greek. Let me give you scripture very quickly. I thank the Lord for everyone that is in this room. Uh, Luke chapter number one. Luke's gospel chapter number one. Um, and if I have time, then I'll go to Joshua. Uh, but I want to deal prophetically very quickly and release this word of the Lord to those that are here because it is not just for Melissa. God just used her as the conduit to bring us together uh, in this small portion of the vineyard so that we can do what God has assigned us to do because this is the invisible church being visible. I wish I had some more people in here. Look at your name and say, God is talking to the invisible church. Those that have been hiding under the radar. Come on, somebody. That have been hidden in little churches and corners and organizations and arenas and legalism. Come on, somebody. You've been hiding. You tell you that you've been hiding you for such a time as this. Uh -huh. But God is getting ready to reveal you to the nation. You can't get it's a global glory. 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 When the book comes out, you'll get it. Which means I'm changing form. Oh, somebody better catch that in the Holy Ghost. I'm changing form. Somebody shout, I'm changing form. The me that you used to be familiar with is not the me that is being revealed. So you knew me as the cute evangelist. You knew me as the cute little intercessor. You knew me as the cute little deacon. And even months, I've been in a place where I begin to question God because I begin to hate church. I ain't got nobody in here. I hate church. I hate being around church folk. Come on, somebody that don't want to go to the next place. We confuse prophetic. Come on, somebody with religiosity. I ain't got no help up in here. And somebody fighting the spirit of prophetic because we don't understand the true nature of the prophetic. And so what happens is we make our prophetic moves traditional. And therefore, it's no power now in the spoken word. But God said that I'm getting ready to raise up people that is now operating in a 